So we're here at um, Rangiputa Beach today to release Calvin the turtle. Uh, Calvin's been with us at Kelly Charlton's for 14 months. He washed up on East Tohora Beach uh, 14 months ago in December 2018. So he's been with us really sick and now is ready for release. And yeah, we've brought the community together here. Uh, six local schools have come um, and we're all ready to be here to release Calvin. When Calvin first came into us, um, it was a very, very sick turtle, very underweight. But it was so rewarding the other day to be able to do the pre-release health check on the turtle and see how incredibly far it's come and how healthy and well it looks. For us, it reiterates amongst our whanau and hapu the importance of the cycle of we are the people on the ground finding our turtles. Uh, they ring us and um, then we sort of get them down to Auckland to our friends Kelly Tarleton's and Auckland Zoo to rehab and then bringing them back it just shows them that full cycle and the education of how important it is mm. and taking them on that journey which is most important. Oh it's hard to know what he'll do after he's been released. Um, every turtle's a little bit different. Um, on occasion they've, they've swum out towards Chile, uh, other times they've come down towards the Firth of Thames. Um, it's just up to the individual turtle. He might hang out, hopefully he'll hang out in the area out here for a while. It's a beautiful spot to be. It's incredibly rewarding to be part of Team Turtle. As anyone in conservation knows, it requires a, a team of people with lots of different skills. So there's a lot of partners involved in uh, the release of Calvin the Turtle, um, going from the people who found him on the beach at East Tohora, uh, and also Doc who helped transport him to Kelly Talton. It just really highlights and reiterates the importance of core partnerships with the likes of um, Kelly Talton, Silk and Zoo. So it is very important and very significant to us. It's Sea Week this week, which is a great reminder to all of us to treat our oceans and the animals that live in them with respect. Simple ways you can help include reducing your use of plastic, especially single-use plastic, never discarding fishing gear at sea or on the beaches, and remembering when we visit our beaches to leave only footprints. 